sister Donna. We live in Washington, D.C., and we are the creators of Surprise Ride. We come from a family of six. We escaped war from Lebanon and immigrated to Canada. Growing up, we really didn't have much, but our parents told us that anything is possible. I wanted to go to school at Harvard, and I was able to go there many years later. Rosie wanted to travel the world. She got to study abroad, and even though we didn't have much, we made the best out of that situation. Safety first. Too often, we hear kids complaining that they're bored and moms struggle to keep their kids with short attention spans busy. Our product helps families spend fun, quality time together, and it helps parents and kids gain knowledge along the way. We've risked a lot to make this dream come true. I gave up a great career on Wall Street. We've both uh, refused great job offers to make this dream come true. We validated that we have a great product. People absolutely love the experience, but we need capital from the sharks to share the ride with America. I'm Rosie Califf. We're, we're the, the sisters, sisters behind, behind the, the company, company Surprise, Surprise Ride. Today we're raising $110,000 in exchange for 10% of our company. Surprise Ride is a monthly bundle of adventure that gets kids excited about learning. With Surprise Ride, every month kids receive a surprise box of interactive activities and all the supplies they need to explore a new topic. We work with experts to curate activities of the highest quality. Families everywhere want to give their kids a good reason to put away the video games and explore the world through hands-on play. Surprise Ride makes it easier than ever before. Sharks, we actually picked up some of your mail today and your surprise rides have arrived. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I love the boxes. Thank you. Beautiful packaging. Oh, wow. Oh, Robert, would you stop? Look, Damon, it's car racing. You always act so amazed by everything you see. Robert, you're going to get to design and model a race car? Vroom! Lori, we know that you love cooking, and who doesn't love chocolate? Right. You're going to get to make <laughs> chocolate from scratch and also design your very own brand of chocolate. It's great. Kevin, we know that you love photography, so you're going to get a solar kit that has you taking pictures using the power of the sun. Thank you. Love it. Damon, we heard that you love to travel, so you are going to be entering an adventure into the exciting city of Barcelona. All right. So you're going to be designing a mosaic in the style of world-renowned architect Gaudi and exploring the fashion in Barcelona. I like. And you heard I like to get fat. Yeah. <laughs> we heard that you love. <laughs> we we, we, we might have heard that you love basketball, so we designed a basketball themed ride that has you creating a mini basketball game for your desk. And then get fat. What's a good game without <laughs> some popcorn? I got that. This is really cute. I mean, I have to say, this is an extremely well constructed quality surprise box. Well, first of all, thank you very much. Very, very cool. How much do they sell for? It starts at $24.99 for a six month or a 12 month subscription. And that's per month? Per month, yep. Right. And it's $29.99 if you buy it on a monthly basis. What are your sales? So, so far we've shipped almost 800 boxes and we've got over 220 active members. That's just in the last four months. Four uh, oh, months. Okay. Yeah, it's just oh. started. Ladies, you know in an online business when someone comes into the Shark Tank with a model like this, two questions that always get asked, and hopefully you're going to know this answer. What is your customer acquisition cost, and what is the value of that customer and profit margin? So our customer acquisition cost is $5.30. What's the value of that customer for a 12-month? So for just a 12-month period, it's $130 customer value. Usually when Mr. O'Leary asks the client acquisition question, there's a lot of uh, deer in the headlight. But what a great answer. I got to know your background. My background is on Wall Street. I actually worked um, in mergers and acquisitions for a number of years. Ah. Then I left that and went back to get my MBA at Harvard. Fell in love with social you have a Harvard MBA. Good for you. What about your sister? I have a degree in marketing, um, so I have a business background. I've worked with a number of lifestyle brands and even some kid brands. So, what does it cost you to make each box, and where are you making these? We're at 50% margin, and that 50% goes towards buying our merchandise, shipping, and fulfillment. No. We have a fulfillment center in Florida that assembles all the boxes and ships them out to our customers. Can they scale? They can absolutely. absolutely. So, so my business school background basically 
forced us from day one to create a business that's scalable. One of the concerns, and I say this often to new entrepreneurs, is don't invest too much before you have the sale. Absolutely. Absolutely. So actually, how much have you invested in that is in that warehouse? This business model really allows us to anticipate the demand very close to when we need to order that inventory, which is terrific. So we have very little inventory. Because of multi-month orders. Right, we can actually estimate how many orders we're having and, and order accordingly. And I'd like to add, we've raised 100,000 from a very well-known tech investor, uh, Erwin Jacobs, who's the founder of Qualcomm. How much equity did he get? He's actually an, an angel investor in the form of a convertible note. So you know darn well that 100 from Erwin and 110 from us ain't squat for a subscription business. The, uh, the capital that we're raising now gets us through the next 12 months. Are you sure? Yes. And because the in a subscription-based business, you know how many have gone out of business. Yes, we're right. familiar with And what's that. the projection for next year, Donna? For next year, we're anticipating about 500,000 in sales. And that's on the low end. How many subscribers is that? That's 3,500. Look, you don't have enough money to get to 500,000 in sales. But they might because they have access to this other investor. So if you have this. I didn't get to answer your question earlier, but Damon effectively is doing that, which if is If you that have this other investor, why are you here? Irwin invested in us. He's a big fan of this mission, which is to bring curiosity to children all over the world. There you just hit the nail on the head. There's a difference between a mission and having a fully thought out, fully funded business that is gonna accomplish a specific goal. I, so let me tell you a little bit about how we plan to spend that money. That might give you some comfort. Um, two things we're doing, driving traffic to the website and then monetizing that traffic. Okay, that's easy to say, explain. So uh, the first thing is we've partnered with a marketing agency, the leading expert on reaching moms. What does that cost you monthly? It's gonna cost us $40,000 total for the next 12 months to reach five to 10 million moms. Donna Rose, I wanna make sure I heard the facts correct. I, I think you said you did 800 boxes and you have 220 members. Would that come to around 25,000? Yeah, about 23. It's a startup. 25. It's a brand new startup. I got it, but the startup question here is you were like $110,000 for 10%? Yep, so yes. So the value of the company at $1.1 $1 .1 million? Yeah. You're an investment banker, or at least you were one. Do you think there's a little extreme ask in so terms of, of course, value? So, the, the, the classic valuation question. This is literally what I spent. Yes, it is the classic every, question. Every I minute, love that every minute of my hours and on now you in, have in to investment defend banking. It. We know there are two things that primarily go into evaluation, the team and the future pot earning potential of this company. This team has been working together for over 20 years. We worked so well together. When you say you've been working together for 20 years, can you explain that? By that, I mean we've been sisters. I don't know if that's a good thing. I have two daughters. They're ready to kill each other if yeah. they spend too much time with <laughs> each other. We hear that a lot. But we, we came from Lebanon, actually, as war refugees, and we lived in a one-bedroom apartment when we were kids. We didn't have a lot of video games and toys and things to entertain ourselves. But fortunately, our dad always encouraged us to experiment, try a lot of different things. We sort of had a craft store and a, a chemistry lab in, in our, our living basement, room. Yeah. Um, I'm a really simple and basic guy. When I started Fubu, I sold 800 shirts. You know what I was worth? I was worth 800 shirts. You're valuing the company at $1.1 $1 million. I'm out. You know, I'm stuck on the capital requirements. I don't quite agree with you, and we can debate this till the cows come home. My guess is you're going to need somewhere between three and five million dollars to scale this to where you have a sustainable business. I went to school with the girls who founded Birchbox, which is one of the most successful subscription services. Mm -hmm. They've hit 300,000 subscribers. But you know, you're at a proof of concept right now, in my opinion. I'm tempted, but I'm going to pass. I'm out. Donna, let me tell you where I'm at. Yeah. It's a great idea, but there's a lot of executional risk here. You know, your idea of spending 40000 to get that traffic is a little unrealistic. I think you're underestimating the hustle that this business is going to take to get off the ground. But I think you'll figure it out. So here's my offer to you. So my offer is the offer that I feel comfortable with that reflects the executional risk in the business. I'll give you the 110,000 for 25%. Lori, Mark, any other? You were asked what were you going to do with the $100,000. You said $40,000 to a marketing company. What was the rest? Uh, optimizing, you... monetizing that traffic so that we can actually generate the sales. I think that this is one of the 
finest and best made gift box for kids that I've ever seen. I love it. I know what it's like to be a woman in business, and I know that sometimes it can be harder. But I also know that you can make anything happen if you put your mind to it. I had to start from the ground up by myself, and I had to figure out a lot of things, but it was the best learning lessons I could have ever had. And when I look at the two of you, you make me think of myself, and I think that you can do this. She's telling you she's out in like 9,000 words, seven and paragraphs. don't be and... rude. Lori, you know how to reach women. You know how to reach moms. You know how to reach aunts. Doing it on your own, that's how you're really going to learn. So for that reason, I'm out. Lori, I'm giving you my very no. best advice Lori, because that's what I think you? is important here. Donna, she's out. To it, address your theory You question. don't have to address anything. Okay, cool. I made you an offer. Mark. Either say yes or no. Let me, let me ask some questions. What's your core competency? Our core competency is execution. That's what I was going to tell you, Robert. Wrong I'm in answer. talk with experts, Wrong professors. Answer. Worst possible Worst answer. Possible Worst possible answer. Worst possible. Come on. The fact that you need to go out and get this marketing company, you need to go out and get this optimization company, you need to go out in these other companies, means you don't have that road to success directly in your mind. When you're an entrepreneur, you've got to be able to control your own destiny on a number of things. I asked you the question, what's your core competency? I thought you were asking me personally. So oh, come my, on now, come I, on, I'm that's serious. a Harvard answer. That's not a real answer. Okay, oh, that, that's fair, but let me tell you something. I'm out. This was why my offer was so high. You don't live in the real world. You live in the world of theory. Ladies, this isn't Kansas anymore. I made you a generous offer for you and for me because I can help you. I disagree with her. You need guidance you along the way. In? Will you, will, you take, will you do 20%? I'm oh. out. Whoa. Whoa, Robert. Whoa. Gave me time to change my mind. I, Guys, you said you're all about sales. You had a sale. You didn't close the sale. Ladies, I think we're all out. Robert, if you come back in, we'll do it. 25%, we'll do it right now. Interesting. You know what, I'm not gonna Immigrant to immigrate. Oh. No, you know what, I, I hear it. dynamite. When somebody makes you an offer, a bird in the hand, right? I made you a fair Robert, offer. You know you're smart, willing to take isn't it. Isn't it smart you to look at all your options and, and then done. decide? That's not what a always. smart business person would do. Not always. Ladies, we came in here to chat with you've Will, actually we come into the lore of Shark Tank. You are going to become legend because you had a deal and you didn't close it. You came into the shark tank, poo poo happened, and you got a surprise ride. You gotta turn around, walk into the sunset. Good luck, you guys. It's over. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Robert pulling away at the end is almost a blessing in disguise. It showed how serious or not serious he was about our business. That's hilarious. They talked themselves out of a deal. You know what? It, it happens. Deal to lose.